Thank you for joining us, Lauren. Yeah, well, thanks for having me, you guys. This is really exciting. <laughs> so what we have in front of us right now is a map of California wildfires. Can you walk us through the creative process for this map and how it evolved and where it ended up? Yeah, definitely. So this was uh, a project that I worked on for the Washington Post, and it, we decided to put this project together near the end of a really crazy California wildfire season at the end of last year. And we really wanted to show our readers just the extent of the wildfire season in California and also just the scale of this Thomas fire that was very, very destructive. Yeah, this uh, use of a cartogram is really interesting. How did you decide to show the data in this way? Because Washington Post is a newspaper out of D.C., so we used the outline of D.C. to kind of compare the size. And this was a really fun one, too, where we, to kind of get to that theme of, like, fire and, like, scorched earth feeling, we went for, like, a design that looked like burnt pieces, burnt yeah. pieces of paper on, like, a parchment background. Right. So it was really fun. I have to say, like, putting this cartogram together, there were so many different versions of, like, trying to get the shape. First it was a square, first it was a rectangle, and then we kind of went for this, like, oval shape. So it was a lot of... And this is manually arranged from your perspective about what looks best and how it best compares the relative sizes of all these fires. Yes, so I manually arranged all of the fire outlines and I also manually arranged them for the three different screen sizes we work on. So if you were to look at this on iPad, it's oh, a different arrangement. Oh, it's adaptive. Yeah, and if you were to look at it on um, on your iPhone, it would be another arrangement. So, um, so yeah, so three custom <laughs> arrangements of fires for this. The actual arrangement of these same boundaries, we made this map of the full state of California and because California is just such a long tall shape we could have shrunk this map down to fit on like one screen size but we decided to just go big with it and let people kind of pan and, and explore so this is the actual places where these fires occurred and we um, called out the different ones that were really really destructive so the Tubbs, Nuns and Atlas fires um, that happened earlier in the season and then of course the um, Thomas fire which was closer to Santa Barbara down in the south. We included these little bar charts further down that look at the size, but also the most, most destructive in terms of like structures destroyed and whatnot. Well, thank you so much for joining us and, <laughs> and talking about your workflow and your process and sharing this map. Perfect, yeah, thank yeah. you so much for thank having you. me.